Uh, according to Nick, Jimmy, he uh, says a uh, coach is pointless. It would be a waste of money. Your thoughts? I mean, because I'm a coach, I'm still going to agree <laughs> with him on this. In, in this instance, um, especially for Nick Kyrgios. Nick Kyrgios is a guy, when you look at all these things that he wrote, he's a guy that tries to not have accountability for anything. He doesn't want somebody behind him saying, you should be trying, you should be doing this, you should be doing that. He just wants to do it his way. He's a personality, it's great for tennis in a, a lot of ways, it drives me crazy. If I was Nick Kyrgios when I'm 55 years old, I'd be hitting myself in the head every day thinking I could have won a whole bunch of slams if I could have just gotten it together mentally. But it's great for the game to have a guy like this in some ways. People want to watch him and watch what, you never know what's going to happen from five minutes within five minutes. He could be going along great and then absolutely lose it and make a joke and talk to someone in the stands. It's it's good to see he's a personality. I wish someday he'd actually say to himself, you know what, let me see, let me put it all on the line. And my, I think his ego can't quite handle putting it all on the line and not coming through. So he looks for reasons not to put it on the line. Yeah, we'll see if that changes as he gets older, maybe a little bit more mature. The irony is that if anyone's ever watched the Labor Cup, he is in the ears of his teammates all the time, giving them coaching advice, and he is so good at it. He clearly sees the game well, and he is able to relay that message to his teammates in a great way. He just doesn't like hearing it, and it, I hope. I mean, we all say and know that he's one of the biggest talents the sport has ever seen, one of the best spot servers, his ability to handle pace. But the, to be a successful tennis player requires everything as a whole. And the mental part is just as important as the other parts of the game. And that is where he is lacking against some of these top players, the physicality also to go three out of five sets. But he has so much time. A lot of things could change. Um, and if he was able to kind of get it all together, it would be so huge also for the sport. Absolutely. He says he's too far gone. He's only 25 years old. And, Jimmy, I found it interesting. I mean, he also talked about the fact that he says his goal is not to win a Grand Slam. He says, if I could just be on the beers every time I play afterwards, I, I just want to chill out. I think the sport's taken a little bit too seriously. Doesn't think he can go four to five hours, seven matches in a row. But – Everybody out there thinks this guy is, can win multiple majors. I mean, where's the disconnect? As I said, he is trying to take away any pressure. So he wants you to think he doesn't even care if he wins a major. I'm sure somewhere deep down inside he wants to and he cares. It's just difficult for him to put it on the line. And he has that sort of excuse for his ego. I haven't trained hard, which he doesn't. He isn't in good enough shape to win three out of five set matches day after day. He recognized that. And by the way, if you say I can't win a major and I can't go three out of five sets, then you're right. If you're saying it, those things are not going to happen for you. You are going to not win a Grand Slam and not be able to play seven matches. We'll see what happens. Uh, obviously, he can beat the best whenever he steps out on the court. Can he do it uh, seven matches in a row over a two-week span? Time will tell.